common feature in web development is having a background behind some content. This is such a prevalent design pattern that there is actually a component within React Native specific for this purpose called the image background. So let's take a look. Within an empty React Native application, we have the image background component being imported from React Native and a simple background that we intend to use as a background image. Within the view, we render the image background control. For the source prop, we provide the background image that we are importing and have a child text component containing the text stop and smell the roses. As you can see, by default, the image background component is only going to take as much space as its children need and it's really getting hidden by the iPhone notch. But we can fix that quite easily by giving the image background container a nice flex so that it fills into the entire space and justify the content to be in the center. Now currently the text is still quite hard to read. So let's align it in the center, pump up the font size, make the font weight bold and make the color white. And as you might have noticed, the text doesn't really shine whether it is white or black on this particular background. But the fix is quite easy when you want to create separation between a text and its background and you can find a nice color, use something like a text shadow. So we give it the shadow color black and give it a radius of five. And although still not perfect, it is definitely better than what it was before. In order to get the most out of the image background component, it is good to understand its internal structure. It is basically a view with an image scale to absolutely fill the view and your content laid on top. So with this internal structural view in mind, we can actually create separate styles for the image container and the image component that exists in the background of our content. With the image background component, the container style is passed in with the style prop and the image style is passed in with the image style prop. So with an opacity of 0.3, our image is a lot more muted and this will help separate it a bit more from the text on top. Now, as you can see, it is still not quite perfect. And the reason is the container itself does not have any background and we are seeing the white that exists on the app root. So let's give our container a background. So when the image gets some opacity, we see the container's color. And in our case, we'll give it a background color of black to separate it from the white text that we intend to overlay on top. Now, one additional thing that I want to point out is that the image background component also takes the resize mode property, which we also saw when we looked at the image component. And by default, the value will be cover, which is the same as the default for the image component. And if you were around when GeoCities was still a thing and you missed those days, you can provide a resize mode of repeat. And now we get our background repeated in the entire space of the container. As always, thank you for joining me. Smash the like and subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you in the next one.